Okay, so we have all around them. I knew this cart was going to come out. I did see it. Engagement. Spotlight. Okay. And we have ghosting. Hmm. <laughs> so this is somebody that you are in no contact with for most of you. This is somebody that doesn't want to lose this connection. Okay. I feel like this person is missing you. Um... I feel like this person feels like they can feel you even though you guys are apart, all right? Um, they're definitely heavily thinking about you, um, even feeling haunted by the thoughts of you uh, or by you, right? Um, this is somebody that since you guys have stopped talking, I don't know who cut off communication here. Um, there was definitely an ending here, but this person's thinking about commitment. They're thinking about what you guys could have been or what you know got you guys possibly could be, all right? Um, they're thinking about you guys being this power couple or you guys, you know, getting married one day, getting engaged, making things official. Um, maybe they're thinking about what they could do to try to save this connection because I definitely feel like they don't feel like they don't want this to be over or they don't feel like it's over. But I don't feel like this is somebody that you guys are in contact with based off of these cards. All right. So tell me more about this. What's going on here? Tell me about you have unlocking. Okay. So it says locked doors are opening, removing blockages, love is coming. What's that mean for this connection? See, cut out. So somebody could either be cutting something out of their life. It says cutting ties in separation. Okay, so like I said, I feel like this is something that you're in separation with. What does cut out have to do with this connection? Sacrifice for love, must give up something. So maybe there is something that someone needs to remove from their life so that this could work. What does that mean for this person? Yeah, this, they're coming in with, they're wanting to come in with some type of love offer. What does this mean for the collective? So you guys do love this person. You feel like it's hard to stay away from them or resist them. They want to come in with a love offer. What is triggering them to want to come in with this love offer? Okay, this makes no sense. We have player playing the field, refusing to commit grass is greener syndrome, but we have love offer here. So something is maybe changing. Yeah, we have sex. Okay unrequited okay so it's something because we do have the unlocking card so something what's making things change yeah now all of a sudden somebody's wanting to make you a priority now they're wanting to choose you now they're wanting to eliminate the interference very much focused on just you but this was somebody oh yeah we have healing reevaluating needs so maybe this person's like not feeling like the way that they've been living their life or the things that they know they were usually like you know that they were interested in or that they desire that their desires are changing or um how do i say that like they're maybe starting to heal and they're thinking about what they want and what they need and maybe they're starting to feel like you're more in alignment with those things than whatever it was that they were holding on to um yeah they were like yeah they were being a player for some of you they were refusing to commit they weren't sure if this was lust or love or they have issues with like you know acting on their lustful desires or sexual desires. Like maybe they, they didn't want to be tied down to one person. We have unrequited, one-sided love, not enough attraction. The feelings are mutual. So it's like, tell me more about why this person's feelings are changing. What's making this person all of a sudden? So maybe it's just like their feelings are growing with time. It says bad timing, waiting for the, waiting for the right time. Patience is needed. Tell me more. Taking a risk. Why are they taking a risk now? Yeah, out of the blue. Why? Oh, is it because you guys have cut them off? You guys have set boundaries with this person. You're no longer enabling them to can to be this player. You're not. Maybe some of you guys were like, you know, having sexual relations with this person, but not requiring them to fully commit to you, or they weren't giving you everything that you deserved and need needed, but you were, you know, sleeping with them or something like that, or things are very one sided, but you were still like giving them access to you in some degree but i feel like it says no more enabling feeling used setting healthy boundaries so now and maybe this person wasn't expecting this all right and i don't think that they were maybe expecting um to feel so depressed or you know sad over you doing this but it's you setting boundaries guys is changing everything your your boundaries it's what's unlocking new doors um, whether it's with somebody new or with this person. Okay. Um, yeah, they're about to, you're not going to be expecting this person to come in and lay everything on the table like this, like wanting to have something more serious with you, because this could be somebody that you thought was never going to change or never going to do this, never settle down. 
Um, what does this mean for, how does the collective feel about this person? Yeah, gypsy. So you guys have some type of knowing. What about spell word? Runner, okay. So what do they know? <laughs> so maybe you guys know. Yeah, you guys are kind of being strategic with this person. Uh, you're, you're like, I have to be, be, you know, how do I say that? I have to be more strategic when dealing with this person. I have to be smarter when dealing with this person. I think you know that this person doesn't want to lose you. Or it's like almost like you guys know that this person doesn't, isn't going to want you to completely, want to completely lose you. They have been avoiding or running from the connection, ignoring you, whatever. But I think you guys know that it, when it, you know, at the end of the day that this person does not want to lose this connection. So I think that you guys are being more strategic when dealing with them. All right. Um... Tell me more about how um, it's like you guys are like putting your foot down, maybe hoping that this would change something. And I think it is changing something for sure. Tell me more. Well, how does the collective feel? It says friendship, friend zoned, friendship before love, building trust. Okay, what's that mean for the collective? We have money is tight and forever changed. Hmm. Foolish. They play games with you. They watch you. Yeah, definitely in separation with this person right now. But just know you're heavily on this person's mind. You guys view this person as somebody that was maybe friend zoning you, or it takes them a really long time to build trust or to to try to, you know, build a relationship with this person. Um, you view them as somebody that's maybe having um financial issues. Maybe you also view them as somebody who's always saying that they're changing and they're evolving and, you know, they're going to be different. But what's foolish here, they're, like they, they're playing games like that you can't take them seriously or, yeah, look at this. It says curious, but maybe you guys know this person watches you too. You view them as somebody that keeps tabs on you. They check your social media. You know that this person isn't over you. So give me more clarity. Yeah, this I saw this card when I was shuffling too. What about, yeah, so you know, okay. You guys are kind of in this, um, all right. You guys are kind of in this, I won't even say cocky energy. You're in this knowing your worth energy, this empress energy where you know that you are beautiful. You know that you're, you're handsome. You know that you are valuable. Um, you know that anybody would have, be happy to have you. You know that you are unique and you kind of feel like this person, you know, this person's not going to find another you, right? And I feel like you guys are right. Cause look at what's happening because you guys are pulling your energy back from this person, right? Um, I feel like you guys are trying to make better choices for yourselves. Okay. And, um, yeah, you're cutting negativity out of your life. You're making better choices. Yeah. And I feel like it's making this person jealous. I mean, some of you guys are maybe doing this thinking that it, you knowing that it will make this person jealous. Okay. For others of you, you're just focusing on yourself and doing what's best for you. Right. And it is making this person jealous and afraid to lose you. Cause I definitely saw energy already of this person not wanting to lose this connection. Okay. So you know, yeah, fear of losing you, attachment, want you to themselves. They don't want anybody else to have you. We do have true love and we have home. We have soulmate. We have wish come true. Yeah, it's like this person does like feel like whole when they're with you. They do have love for you. Like they do feel this bond with you. They feel like you are home. They feel like you, they do want you as a romantic partner. They do feel like you guys are very compatible. They view you as wish fulfillment. All they've ever wanted, their dream person. But this person is toxic. Not good for you, low vibrational, toxic relationship, but they do love you. It's hard. You know, that's, it's always difficult. So I do feel like you guys did need some time, a break or some time apart. All right. Go down your, your own paths, um, for a minute and it's triggering this love activation within this person, awakening, heart space, opening, twin flame, ascension. Um, this person was not, they were taking you for granted. There was definitely an unequal give and take. They were holding back from you. And it was just like, things could not progress with the way that this person was, right? They were being very resistant to change. Um, I feel like you guys were holding out hope that this would stabilize. Um, you, de you and this person definitely trigger each other as well. I think this person was also, what does waiting mean for them? Uh, they were, their ego, they feel like they're being left out in the cold, but I feel like this person hasn't, they've been waiting for you to come to them because their ego, for some reason, is not letting them come to you right now. Like their ego is just really big. And, um, I think that they were waiting for you 
to come toward them, but you're not doing it. So I feel like they're they're feeling very triggered or that's what's going to end up happening. Like the longer you, they, you go without talking to this person, the longer you hold back, the more, you know, um, the more triggered they become. I'm not quite ready to get into the tarot. So let's see what else they need to know about this situation. Or let's see. What is the current energy used between these two? Where is that deck? Let's hope that it's all hearts. This deck has like, if it's like, you know, love, then it has the hearts. If it's lust, then it has the flame. And then if it's karmic or toxic or whatever, it has like a... Um, what is that symbol? Like the toxic symbol or whatever you call it. Um, so let's see what's going on. What are the energies between my twin and collective and their twin? Okay. We have one and only. Focused only on you. So if you were wondering, that has come out already. If you were wondering if this person had somebody else or there was somebody else that they wanted, that's not true. It says focused only on you. First and last, they talk to, thinking of you all day. See, okay, but we have on and off. Lots of makeup sex, breakup to makeup, inconsistent communication, yeah. So this is somebody that you've been through cycles with. PDA, okay. They, I feel like they miss your touch. Yeah, touching you lovingly, public displays of affection, sweet gestures. And we have trust, okay. They trust your actions, feel they can depend on you, don't doubt your intentions. So I did see that there was a lack of trust at some point, but this person could maybe be starting to trust you more. I'm not really sure why that's happening, but it has highs and lows. Lack of consistency, full of drama, more highs than lows. Yeah, so that's the same energy as this on and off type. So that's been the, you know, a big issue with you and this person. You guys, why has this been like this? And yeah, and you've maybe been growing impatient with this person or with the situation. What's been causing the on and off and the highs and lows? Hmm, intimacy. So somebody has like a fear of intimacy or something here. In, um, emotional closeness, feeling secure and loved. Yeah, that's been the issue. I feel like somebody, either you or this person has a fear of true intimacy. And that's why things have really not been working out between you and this person. Anything else? What's been causing best self? I feel like, okay, so this is what also has been an issue. It says, inspired to become better, recognizing your faults, connecting to your higher self. That's probably what you, you know, this connection has triggered within you and within this person. But I feel like somebody is being resistant to it. Somebody is being resistant to wanting to, you know, recognize their faults, wanting to recognize um, what they need to work on, what they need to heal, what they want to change. Like, they they lack accountability. Um so that's been an issue as well. They've been trying to keep this very surface level, keeping it at a fantasy level, surface level conversations. And it says bad sex can be, be a deal breaker. There's definitely something here. So there needs to be compromise or somebody needs to be more flexible, not so stubborn, right? Give up something more open-minded. And that's been, yeah, they need to open up, be more emotionally vulnerable, acknowledging emotions, taking risks. So somebody's not been wanting to come to terms with their feelings for you. They've been deluding themselves. False beliefs of the other, thinking love exists and it doesn't, not accepting reality. So I don't think that it's, you know, thinking love exists and it doesn't. There is love here. It's this person not wanting to come to terms with the fact that they do love you, okay? Or this is you, vice versa, right? Somebody's not accepting the reality of the situation. They're not ready to, okay? Um, so that's been what's been going on between you and this person. So going forward, what is going to be the energy? Okay. This is a good energy when there's been multiple indicators here. Oh, but why do we have dishonesty on the back of the deck? Ooh, see, I don't like that though, y'all. I see this conflicting energy here of like, I see this person saying that they want to have an equal give and take, that both of your needs are important, but we have dishonesty. So they could be like just trying to string you along. Let's see. Well, tell me more about your policy. What is this? Avoid it. See, they're still. So why are they coming towards you? Want to talk about they want this equal give and take. Consistency. Responsibility. See, attachment. Okay, guys. Yeah. 
this person is still not ready to change. I'm just going to be honest with you based off the current energy, just so you know. This person may come towards you at this time and say that they want an equal give and take, that, you know, they want something more balanced. They do want something, fish, you know, more serious with you. Um, but just know that this person is doing this because they're in this energy. They're wanting to maintain, like I said, they don't want to lose this connection with you. They want to maintain this attachment going between the two of you. It says, fear of loss, don't like being single, doing anything to keep lover. So this person's in this energy of doing anything to keep you right now, even if that means lying to you or fibbing, you know what I mean? Because we st they're still in this avoidant energy. Not It says, avoiding being official, said not looking to get serious, no straight answers. All right, we have consistency. Yeah, so just be careful. They're going to tell you that they're going to try to be more consistent for you, that they're going to show you with their actions, and they're going to be more dependable. But I feel like they're bluffing, guys, or they're just not, not even bluffing, but what's the word? They're being dishonest. They're not... They're just trying to do that. Why are they Why are they refusing to change? What is blocking this person? Why are they being so stubborn? Okay. <laughs> why are they being so stubborn? Okay. Attachment. See, it's like this person does see like a few, it, see this with you, right? Engagement. In it for the long haul. Working through conflicts. Not easily giving up. And they want to keep you. They're afraid of losing that with you or losing that. But why are they not doing what they need to? See, there's that same card again. Why are they being avoided? Mm, oh. For some of you, they have some type of like sex addiction or something. I don't know. Something to do with what about sexual desire? Mm, okay, so that's what keeps. <laughs> This, it's you. It's not them with anybody else. It's that this person feels like sleeping with you is better than they've ever had before. Like it says good sex. It says best ever. So yeah, I feel like maybe they're say, they, they're coming towards you. Didn't I say that already? That this person tries to come back towards you when they want to sleep with you or they, they want to have like, and I may feel you guys maybe did allow this. Like they would come in and they would love bomb you. They would butter you up. Right. And you would take them back. But then they would switch up on you again. Like they wouldn't follow through with their promises. Then it would just end up with you guys breaking up again, right? Well, they're going to try this again if they haven't already. But the issue of why this person isn't committing to you is because they don't feel good enough for you. They have self-worth issues. But didn't we have, we have that healing? Where was that at? I do feel like something is changing. And it's probably because you're not letting this person come back and do this, play this, do this game or this repeating cycle with you anymore. Trying to fill a void, feeling and coming off desperate, settling for less. This person doesn't want anybody else but you. So if they don't want anybody else but you, and they can't just come and have you at their convenience anymore, it's kind of forcing this person to make some decisions here. You know what I mean? Either they're going to let you go, and they're going to you know, have to find somebody else, or they're going to have to step up. So I feel like that's where this person is at. Because you may not me no longer letting them have that same access that you used to. Because you guys are knowing your worth. You're starting to heal. You're reevaluating your needs. You're like, no, I don't want just somebody that's, you know, I don't want to just have a hookup. I want to be in a committed relationship. I want to work towards marriage and building a life with somebody. Like, I want to be a couple. Um, so I feel like you guys are in this energy of setting boundaries because you don't feel like this person is aligning up with, you know, what you want in a significant other. So... This person is a very sexual person, and I feel like they're really wanting to do that with you. I'm just, that's why I said I feel like they're craving your touch. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like that's also like feeling like making them feel like they're forced to make a decision um, to do something because they don't want anybody else but you. Okay. We have King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Magician in Reverse, Aries energy. See, this person does try to manipulate the lovers, Gemini energy. See, the Seven of Swords. You guys cannot trust this person. I don't know if this has happened or not yet. It may happen in the future. See, what is going on? It's like this person puts in a little bit of effort and then they pull it back. 
And they do this as a means of control. Yeah, I just feel like this person is King of Pentacles energy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn for a lot of you. They're about to come in with some type of manipulation. I also feel like this person's living in some type of illusion when it comes to this connection. Not wanting to think that this is true love or that the, like, I don't know. There's some type of delusion here. But they're going to definitely try to get away with something here. I'm just letting you know. They're going to try to get away with it. How's that going to work out for them? See, they're coming in very charming, romantic. Coming in with an offer. Knight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Saying that they want to invest in you. Page of Wands. Two of Wands. Yeah, whatever they had. So maybe that was them. They had some type of plan concocted. Right? To try to get you back. To try to get you in bed. Whatever it was. It didn't work. That's because it says plans falling apart. Mm-hmm. So you guys probably received some type of message or communication from them. Looks like it was something pretty small. And they, yeah, they were planning something. And it didn't work. So now what? Or this is what's going to happen. So now what? The world in reverse. Well, Spirit says that they're still being resistant to change or they're still being resistant to closing out some type of cycle or Spirit is saying that this is not over between you and this person, all right? Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse. They haven't moved on from you. So this could have been past energy where this already happened. And Spirit is letting you know that if you and this person are currently in no contact, that, you know, just they, they maybe came back, you rejected them. Just know that they have not moved on from you. It is not over with this person, right? They're not, they're not doing well. They're stuck in turmoil. Four of Wands. Yeah, look at this. They're going through some type of, con yeah, conflict with others, lack of support, instability. They feel unwelcomed wherever they're at. Having a lot of arguments, lots of instability. They, some of them are even maybe losing a home or having to relocate. All right, what's this have to do with the collective? Yeah, Two of Cups in reverse. You guys are definitely in separation from this person because they're toxic. Capricorn energy. We also have Libra energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. Um, so what's what's going to happen going forward? This person's still obsessing over you. Like even if you guys are, because we do have that all around them. And we had another card too that was indicating that. Um, but yeah, it's like this person has, is is obsessing over the rejection. They're, they're obsessing over the withdrawal. They're obsessing over the breakup. Okay. Um, but they're about to make some type of decision here. Or they're having some, this is giving them a wake up call. Judgment, final decisions, wake up call, and what's happening now? They're having that. Maybe that's what this awakening is. That that love activation is because of this rejection that they just experienced with you. Yes. Wow. Major confirmation. Yeah. Ace of Wands reverse. A rejection. Yeah. A false start. They thought something was about to get come back together between the two of you, and it didn't. You didn't go for it this time, or you're about to not go for it. So you didn't give them the same energy you used to, and now what's happening? They're about to like, oh, this person is super stubborn, guys. They're still trying to resist it, but I feel like this person is getting weaker. All right. I feel like they're still trying to wait for you, but they're feeling like in this five of cups energy because it's not happening. Like They, they just thought they think that you're going to come back. They think you're going to chase them. They think that you'll cave, right? And you're not doing it. So they're in this five of cup, cups energy, feeling abandoned, unloved, feeling the loss of you, sad, mourning, not happy, pessimistic, grieving, disappointed, right? Um, and it's just, it's not happening. Like you're standing your ground. They're being stubborn or and standing there, whatever, not wanting to make any changes and standing their ground. Um, cause you know that this person's all talk, you know what I mean? So what's going to happen going forward here? The tower in reverse, the king. I don't know guys, as of right now, I still see this person being stubborn, sitting in a lack mindset, pessimistic, playing the victim. Um, I don't really see them doing anything. They're just feeling like they're being left behind and they're really not doing anything about it. I think that they're they're trying to stay hopeful that she'll come back to them, right? But I don't think it's happening, right? They're losing hope and faith. They're not happy at all. They're feeling more negative, all right? So I feel like this person is going to come back. Tell me more about what they're going to do or what's their current intentions. Ten of Wands. See, I don't know. I feel like there's going to be like some time apart between you and this person taking a break. They're maybe going to like start trying to free themselves from something. What about Sound of Cups? This person does not feel like they can make a decision about what is this decision that they need to make? Something about the past? Or like if for some of you it's something about leaving their comfort zone or what's familiar to them. Tell me more. 
Yeah, them it says clinging to stuff, clinging to control, stuck in old karmic cycles, repeat resistance to change. Yeah. They have to get out of this stubborn energy. And I feel like they're not, they're emotionally immature and they're not listening to their intuition. But they're like only hurting themselves. They're putting themselves in this nine of swords energy. Anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, overthinking, fear, nightmares. Maybe that's what's keeping them stuck in this, you know, old outdated cycle is all of that, right? But yeah, the Empress in reverse. And it's like a lack of self-worth too. Like this person just isn't growing right now, guys. Like they're still being stubborn. But I do feel like they're feeling very upset over the fact that you guys are not together, that you didn't give in to them, um, that they think that they're losing you, right? And I feel like that... I feel like they're losing the strength to hold back and be stubborn, right? Yeah, they're feeling very insecure. This person's very codependent. They need you to feel worthy. They need you to feel happy and fulfilled. And without you there, it's like this person is starving. I just did a reading like this a few days ago. I can't remember which sign I did. It was could have been Capricorn. I don't know whose it was, but I did one of the readings and it was like this. So without you feeding this person and giving them energy, it's like this person's starving, their ego is starving, right? And then what happens when their ego starves? They'll have an ego death, right? So that's probably what this person needs. And then all of a sudden, bam, then there's this 10 of cups that manifest, right? So that's ultimate happiness and fulfillment in the eight of cups, them returning, right? It's like this person doesn't realize that you're not going to come back because you're in this nine of pentacles energy. You don't need them. You're self-sufficient. This person needs you. This person needs you a lot more than you need them. I feel like they don't want to come to terms with that. They don't want to like make you feel like, you know, they don't want, you know, you to know that they need you so much, but they do. And, um, yeah, because they, they feel like if they come and they chase you, then that makes them look needy and vulnerable. And they don't, their ego is like, no, their ego is like, hell no, you know, 